Hey everybody. Sorry, sorry it took me so long to get this thing rolling, but procrastination can be a bit of a pain in the ass. You know, that lazy is lazy is kind of my middle name at times. But nevertheless, welcome to my first official video blog. I'm just going to call it that cuz I think vlog really isn't much isn't really a word and it sounds kind of silly, but that's me. Uh first and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh for those of you that know that I'm doing this, <clears throat> and uh, first off, well, first off, second off, actually, I already said my first off, now didn't I? Uh, second off, I would like to thank the, the folks at Bing Energy. If it wasn't for these, if it wasn't for these guys, odds are I wouldn't have survived <laughs> survived my road trip last weekend. F four cans of this, two each way, kept me from going, kept me from falling asleep, going insane rolling off the mountain and killing us all thank god so uh so you know anytime you guys want me to play anytime y'all at bing want me to plug you or maybe send me some free shit knock yourselves out and i am and i am open to the idea of doing commercials you know don't don't take these video blogs as as a, any indication of the, the way i carry myself in video because I mean, I'm I'm just sitting in front of my webcam, just doing little video blogs like this. Plus, I'm just some guy from Jersey, so I'm not gonna. Um, I really don't intend to <laughs> to put to play up my persona. I don't know why people do that. It's the dumbest thing ever. But you saw me do it. Go figure. So in these video blogs, you'll find out a lot of things about what's going on in my career, what's going on in my life, my my brain in general. And you'll be finding about it through just the person I am is just some guy from Jersey. Ugh. So as I said uh, last weekend, I had probably the you know the busiest weekend of my entire career. That whole week was probably the biggest week of my career. Uh, the the pre like two we yeah two weekends ago I believe it was I'm too lazy to even though I'm right here on my computer too lazy to pull up the date. Uh, I worked an IWF Lucha show on a Friday. I worked IWF premiere on a Sunday, and then of course that following week I went off to North Dakota to work for Northern Outlaw Wrestling. By far the greatest ex experience of my career and certainly the most profitable. Which of course is a big thing in this business. And then of course, 13 hour ride up there, 13 hour ride back. And me being probably, probably being awake for most of it. All of for maybe, except for maybe a few hours where I took a nap here and there after, after I was done doing my part of the driving. <coughs> well, uh, after, after the trip, of course, I came back to work my, one of my other regular show out here for Primo's Hardcore Wrestling. And needless to say, I was tired. I mean, here I am two weeks later. I think I'm about back to normal and pretty much back up to speed. It's be of course, thanks to these guys, too. Shameless plug number two. Mm. But, uh, I'm sure the one, I'm sure one thing, okay, maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating when I say it, when I say that, but for the sake of argument, I'm sure people are w wondering if I was going to talk at all about the new series of Tough Enough. My views are a little bit skewed, mainly because after watching it and kind of just wondering why the fuck they didn't bother picking somebody who had charisma, who had, you know, talent. No disrespect to Matt Cross or Tristan Gallo, of course. <clears throat> I don't understand why they would pick somebody who, you know, who can work in the ring, who can actually, you know, run the ropes and not get blown up like that big motherfucker. I can't even remember his name right now, which tells you a lot. And, uh, you know, someone who's you know, more or less the total package. The, the only thing that I'm missing, aside from, aside from, you know, polish, of course, is a body. But I'm working, but I'm working on that. Ooh. So, uh, of course, you know, the fact that I was rejected, I was rejected by Tough Enough, well, not to say I was even rejected, I was more or less ignored because I didn't hear any kind of rejection. 
Uh, my my opinions on Tough Enough are a bit slanted, but then again, I'm probably not the only one. Because I hear plenty of people talking about how disappointing it is. Uh, pretty much after I heard that, <coughs> after I had heard that, well, after I saw my DVR, because I can't even be bothered to watch it at its regular scheduled time, after seeing that Matt Cross was eliminated, I pretty much lost all interest. You know, because he, he's, the, he's the only person I knew. He's the only person that I care to watch. Excuse me. No no disrespect to Tristan Gallo, of course, but I never really heard of him that much before Tough Enough came along. I'd never really seen any of his stuff. So I wasn't as interested in watching him. But from what I've seen, what little I've seen, I should say, if there's anyone who could definitely take, who definitely could take the, who definitely could could take it all the way on that show, it'd be him. So best of luck to him. But in general, aside from him and Matt Cross, fuck the rest of them. I mean, we got a bunch of fucking nobodies. From what I heard, Johnny Fairplay's wife quit because she wanted to be there for her kid. I mean. Okay, some people some people would maybe say I'm a bit harsh when I say boo fucking who. I mean, how many how many wrestlers out there have sacrificed time with their families, time with their kids to go out there and make a living? She hasn't even gotten to that point and she decided I can't do it. So uh whatever the hell, whatever the hell her name I believe that was Johnny Fairplay's wife. I don't I don't, I don't really care to be, be perfectly honest. And uh I can't. Even, I don't even. I don't even remember who it was that got that actually got cut, not quit, because I haven't even bothered to watch it. I read it. On, I read on Wikipedia what happened, but of course I don't care. So that's probably the most you're going to get out of me when it comes to the subject of WWE's Tough Enough. Matt Cross got cut. Oop. Hate when that happens. Never mind. You know, Matt Cross got cut, so at this point I really don't care. I mean, I'll, I'll probably still set the DVR to watch and see what happens. But I'm not exactly going to be holding my breath to see, you know, to, to see who makes it and who doesn't. To Because to be perfectly honest, there's not a single fucking one, with, with the exception of Tristan, of course, there's not a single person on that show that is fit to tie my fucking boots and hold my jock if I wore one. You know, it's it, of course those those of you those of you who know, who know me well enough will probably understand that little joke there. So, uh, so I guess so that's that's pretty much that on tough enough. Overall, it's a huge fucking disappointment. Although, of course, I will tune in to see to see tonight's if there's nothing else on, just because of course my favorite wrestler of all time, Bret Hart's going to be on it. And that alone is enough for me, enough reason for me to watch. <coughs> but other than that, you know, it's pretty much toss up, and they can all go toss off. For all I care. Uh, let's see what else. Well, yeah, it's kind of a bum. It's like I figure something like this would be kind of amusing, but unfortunately, although I do have kind of that ADD that Raven does, I don't have near the genius he does, so I don't quite have so many interesting thoughts running through my mind. But uh, the first thing that comes to mind is I finally started work on my best of DVD. I've I have finally picked out eight decent, you know, eight, you know, well, decent when I say that. I say mainly quality because for probably the first the first year the first year and change of my of my career with IWF I'd been using just a regular uh, uh, do I even have it here do I do I nope it's all the way over there so fuck it <laughs> I was just using a little regular Kodak you know digital camera maybe about that big so so needless to say the quality of the videos wasn't that great and uh yeah so it was it was kind of hard for me to pick out pick out some mat pick out good matches because you know I, I'm trying to put together a real nice looking DVD and it's not easy to do when a lot of the matches that you have are just not really great quality because you're using you know a shitty little camera but that's what happens when you're broke 
Plus, plus adds to the fact that out of all eight matches, one of them, one of them is from my, uh, from my time working for Prim Primo's Hardcore Wrestling. Because for the majority of my time in Primo's up until recently, which I'll get to, I was, needless to say, stuck working. Really, a less a less than amusing religious stable type gimmick. Which never it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but uh, but I didn't but I didn't care. You know, I was getting I was getting work. I was getting out there in the ring, so I just I just bit my I just gritted my teeth and did dealt with it. So uh, I was able to pick one match that that I that I definitely enjoyed working. You know, working with it, working with a guy who, you know, people people get people give him a lot of crap. But when I worked with him, I had no problem. He listened, and we ha and you know had a good time. So that that'll definitely be on the DVD. I've got a couple of like really good, a couple of other really good matches on it. Uh, the la most I think maybe the last three matches. Yeah, I think the last three matches were done with our new camera, which also I don't know quite where it is. Not really a good sign. But I'm sure it's probably under the coffee under the coffee table. I don't know. But uh, we're done with uh, new camp with Brenda's new camera that she that she bought. So my matches definitely look a lot better. Uh, the un the only thing I'm trying to decide on, depending on how much space the matches alone take up, I'm not sure if I should make it just one straightforward DVD, just one, you know, one dip. No, not that. You know, just I don't know if I should make it maybe just one disc with just the matches and a little bit of graphics here and there to describe. You know, to just write down to write write on the screen what the match is, what what the date is, things like that. Or if maybe I should just you know space it out so I have enough room to make it a two disc, which I think could probably could be a good seller. But then again, it's only it's only eight matches spread over two discs. Uh, plus, I really don't have money to spend on dual la on those dual layer discs. So I'm just using the regular four gig, the regular 4.7 gig discs, which which really kind of pisses me off because it says four. Well, I can't can't really make it out, but I'm sure you all know. It says four points. Oh, geez, sorry. It says 4.7 gigs on the disc, but when you put it into the CD drive and you try to burn it. It says 4.38, which I think is kind of false advertising, because Lord knows that extra few that extra few megs I could certainly use when I'm burnt when I'm burning stuff. But I'm not going to complain, you know, especially when you get when you're able to get a good, especially like when you're able to get a good deal on like a hundred, you know, a hundred spindle set. That's plenty, and that's plenty enough for me to do double D, a few double DVD sets. And then all I got to do is just work on, you know, the gra work on the graphics, work on the cover, and get money to print out the graphics, print out the covers, and whatnot. <sighs> and I'll, oh, and also I see. I, well, I guess this is a little bit amusing. I tend to go off on tangents like that. Uh, like I said, if I if I do decide to make it a double DVD. I'm not sure if maybe I should incorporate uh, some other video footage, like just me sitting in front of the camera, you know, in between the matches, talking about this match or that match, you know, the next match coming out, give a little backstory. Uh, so, you know, give me your opinions. If, if you'd like to see a full, you know, like a full balls out kind of DVD with, you know, me just, you know, kind of like a lot of the WWE DVDs, like the ones that I've got. You know, where you've got a guy sitting in front of the camera talking about his career, introducing the next DVD, you know, wrapping up the last the interview. I mean, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> you know, hyping up the next match, talking about the previous match, things like that. You know, if, if you'd be interested in seeing that and think that it would definitely be a better selling point, you know, feel free, feel free, feel free to... I have a bit of a stuttering problem, as you can see. Of course, it's kind of kind of early in the morning. Well, not for me. You know, didn't sleep much last night, but that's that. So, if you want to give me your opinions on how you think the DVD should look, whether it's just one disc of straightforward action, depending on how much I can fit on the one disc with all those eight matches, 
or if maybe instead I should just space it out to two discs so I've got plenty of room and maybe add some little extra features uh, unfortunately I don't have I don't have any footage of my career before I came to IWF save for one match which I'm definitely not proud of because the guy guy I was working with was rusty was you know rusty as all hell and frankly working and that even that one match I worked for that company WTF wrestling outlaws <coughs> oh did I say that <laughs> frankly working for them was a complete fucking embarrassment because you know I was definitely the more one of the more well, I don't want to be too too egotistical and say most but I was definitely one of the more talented in, individuals in the group plus I was probably the only person on the roster that wasn't sitting in the locker room fucking smoking weed before the show which goes to say a lot but then again that hasn't changed but then again you know that's kinda that's kinda shit that I have to deal with even out here being Colorado and all and of course that's no another thing I'll get onto um, in future video blogs just somebody out there remind me cause lord knows I'll forget oh once again tangent going off on a going off somewhere else so like I said I don't have I don't really don't have any footage uh, of my time working for NGW well actually I do but it's all on VHS and I'm too much of a lazy slag to figure out how to convert it to digital files and even if I did that's not exa you know those videos I'm not totally proud of either for different for different reasons so uh, I don't have any footage from there I don't have any footage from NWS because I can't seem to get a hold of anybody who worked for uh, I think it was three count, three count promotions that did all the videotaping. I can't get a hold of any of them, save for like one match that I worked. I can I can get one of the I can get that DVD, but exactly what wasn't exactly my best match. But then again, I didn't have a whole lot of good matches in NWS because I was mainly used as filler couple of years later look where I am now and think oh who made <laughs> think who made who made the mistake there not me and uh, so pretty much all I have is from is footage from when I moved out here to Colorado where five WF and on <clears throat> but of course also I don't I don't have any footage of my of my matches working in Amarillo but if there's anybody out there who does uh, Please, please let me know because I would like to get get a hold of it. I've got some I've got some pictures. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll include that. Maybe use make it a bit of a slide. Maybe do a like a music video slideshow kind of thing. Actually, that's, actually that's not a bad idea. I'm gonna have to make I'm gonna have to make a note of that. I'll oh, screw it. I'm sure I'm sure I'll remember by the time I'm done with this. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? I probably won't. But if anybody wants to leave a comment about that, so I do remember, go right ahead. So, uh, so pretty much this whole DVD is going to be IWF footage up up for the uh, the first yeah the first year and a half of my of my time with the IWF, which is the majority outside of my few outside excursions. Pardon me. Well, this stuff does make you this, this stuff does make you a bit gassy, but I really don't care. It is delicious, I will say. Shameless plug number three. When they, they say when they say it's like all natural and whatnot, I'm definitely inclined to believe it. And the one and the one thing I will say, it definitely does not make you crash like other energy drinks have in the past. Um, and it, well, I'll say it again, it is delicious. It tastes just like the. I don't know who out there might remember the Vamp energy drinks. They came in the same. Actually, the cans were probably a bit shorter. And then they also came in those like, you know, big twenty-four ounce cans or whatever they were. You know, the the larger size energy drink cans. I mean, Vamp energy was really good. It tasted almost the same thing because they use, I believe, because they use black cherry uh, for it. I tried to get in contact with them about some kind of sponsorship deal, and they didn't. So mm, fuck them. Okay, it's almost impossible to find Vamp anyway, which goes to show how pop popular that shit's been. But uh, I would definitely be ha be happy to plug to plug this stuff on a more more professional basis. Hell, 
Long story short, I wouldn't mind getting paid. I wouldn't mind getting paid to hawk this shit. I mean, it's a low. It's a local company, which I think is a great. Which I think is a good starting point. I'm a local guy. Well, not really, huh? but I've been here a couple of years, so I guess I'm considered a local guy. No, I definitely wouldn't mind maybe doing doing some little like sound bites, web web commercials, whatever. Uh, I think in my in my next video blog, I'm actually gonna. I, th I think I might actually just as a giveaway uh, give away a can an autograph can of Bing. Why not? And so if you so if you people so if Petey and you people out there you want to supply me with a can to give away, I don't knock yourselves out. I ain't gonna argue. So if anybody there at Bing is interested in pursuing some kind of sponsorship deal, I mean, especially since I'm starting to branch out again, working up in North Dakota, I might be working elsewhere. It might it might be a good idea. <laughs> Why does Del Rio do the wink anyway? I don't get it. Then again, he do, he doesn't really interest me that much at all. That and his personal ring announcer is a really creepy looking fucker. He's one of the palest Mexicans I've ever seen in my life. And I'm not talking white Mexican, I'm talking pale. Look like he just walked up from ground zero. <coughs> Ooh, too soon? But like I always say whenever I make a, con a joke like that. I'm from New York so I can get away with it. So. Ooh, pardon me. Yeah, you, yeah you'll probably see a lot of that when you see me drinking these things. But, uh. No, but I guess, I guess just to wrap things up. Tough enough. Did not did not impress me. The majority of the people on the show, serious fucking disappointment. I could have taken any one of their spots. It had been a better rating spike. Well, not even spike. Not even a spike. I would have just been ratings all across the board. Even if only to, uh, <laughs> even if only to get cut from the show, for me to say, even though I'm sure WWE wouldn't even allow it to be on the air, I would have looked, looked Stone Cold right in the face. You know, not nothing to him personally, of course. Just to the show in general, I said I would have said, like, "Well, I'll tell." I said, "Well, I'll say hi to Dixie for you." <laughs> of course, that would get me some major heat, and that probably wouldn't get me a developmental contract after getting cut from the show, like that other pathetic fucking loser who got cut first. <clears throat> Secondly, or thirdly. Well, we're working on my working on my DVD. You know, give, give me give me some feedback on what you'd like to see. One disc with just action, two discs, you know, with the full nine. And uh, I'll I'll definitely give you give, give you people some more heads up once once I get that started. Uh, for the for those of you that haven't signed up for my for my mailing list yet, it's Ronin.vamp at yahoo.com. I've got a contest running to the end of the month. It's for for the people who sign up for my the people who go and sign up for my mailing list, whoever can get me the most referrals, you know, whoever sends the most people to my mailing list, and to to find out about me, will get a free will be awarded with a free soundbite that can be used as a ringtone on your on on their phone. I fi I figure that's a good way to start it off. It's not gonna you know the the, the best con the best contest prizes are ones that don't cost me anything. At least until I find a, at least until I find a job. So, so Ronan dot Vamp, Ronan dot Vamp at Yahoo dot com. When you when you when you sign when you sign up for the mailing list, give me give me your name so I can add it to my to my address book. And when you start referring when you refer somebody, make sure that you have them say that you refer them so that that way I know how to add it up. The contest will be running run, running through till. I, I decided pretty much the, the end of May, so that it gives everybody a month and change to get to kind of spread the word. And if you're interested in seeing in having me come to your city, you know, find 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 out where your local promotion is. Start sending them emails, phone calls, tweets, wh whatever you got to do. And uh, who, who knows? Pretty, pretty soon you'll see you'll see the rock and roll vampire coming to your town. Lord knows I wouldn't mind. So, like so, until then, goodbye. Let me try to find that damn off button. Where the hell? Oops, I, for I forgot I...
Oh, for, <laughs> I accidentally closed. I accidentally closed down the webcam window, so I couldn't even see myself talking. I'm looking at all this random shit on the computer. Okay. Okay. So let me try that again. Ronan.vampityahoo.com. Sign up for the mailing list. Send send other people. And I will see y'all later.